out of the three motorcycles that Ola Electric has unveiled on Independence Day, the one you see behind me is the one that Ola Electric is hoping to really crack open India's electric motorcycle market with. This is the Roadster X. The name does sound pretty jazzy, but this is the most basic of the three motorcycles that Ola has unveiled today. And I will tell you everything about it in our first look video. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to Car and Bike and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Now let's take a closer look at the Roadster X. So if you seen the Roadster and if you haven't seen it, by the way, click on the pop out banner to see our first look video on that. The Roadster X does bear a resemblance to the Roadster because it belongs to the same family. But you can tell that it's meant for a more basic purpose, a more utilitarian nature of use. Up front, you will see the shape of the headlight is quite similar to that on the Roadster, but this is a much simpler unit. It doesn't have the twin pod element that you see on the Roadster and it has the LED daytime running light at the bottom. On top, you will see this gloss black finish mimicking a visor. Over here, you will see the bike has standard telescopic fork and it rides on these 10 spoke 18 inch alloy wheels. There is a disc brake at the front. Along the sides, again, you will notice that the motorcycle has the same fuel tank extensions that are present on this motorcycle, just like on the Roadster. But over here, you will see the casing for the battery pack is different. It is, of course, tucked out of view and it is fitted within the double cradle frame that Ola has designed for this. Interesting detail is you've got a foot operated brake pedal over here because over here you will see while there is a lever uh, on the right handlebar there is no lever on the left as you can see it's a rather basic console over here you've got a regular key setup and there is a 3.8 inch segmented lcd display this is not the tft touch display that we've seen on the roadster and rather basic looking mirrors as well mirror stocks also are pretty conventional as you can see the seat is perhaps not as long as as the one on the roadster and it is a single piece seat there is no contrast stitching here and there is a gloss black finish where the uh, fuel tank would be and under here would be the charging port although we can't open it and at the back you will see it has a rather conventional dual sided swing arm there is another 18 inch wheel at the back as well the bike as you can see does not have a disc brake at the rear this is a drum only setup and it is employing conventional twin shock absorbers at the back just to give you a sense of who this bike is really aimed at and overall this design is rather basic and i would have hoped to see something a little more exciting from ola considering they've been working on this for a while and we have seen a few electric motorcycles already which are smart looking so while this does look neat i don't think it represents a step forward but what do you think let me know in the comments now if i were to talk very very quickly about the powertrain so this motorcycle has a permanent magnet motor with a peak output of 11 kilowatts now, Ola says that in top spec form, its top speed will be more than 120 kilometers an hour. They even quote some pretty smart 0 to 40 kilometer an hour acceleration times. And if I were to talk about range. So before we get to range, let me tell you about the battery pack options. You start with a two and a half kilowatt hour battery. Then there is a 3.5 kilowatt hour battery. And at the top, you get a 4.5 kilowatt hour battery. The top spec version with the 4.5 kilowatt hour battery will have a range, an IDC range of up to 200 kilometers. Remember that the IDC range is always a little exaggerated and the real world figure will be much lower than that, especially considering the performance on offer. And just to sum it up, let's get to the prices. Ola has given this bike an introductory starting price of 75,000 rupees and it goes up to 1 lakh rupees for the 4.5 kilowatt hour model. For now, Ola has opened pre-orders and it says that it will deliver this motorcycle starting January 2025. It remains to be seen if this bike really is ready for the market, if it can really hit our roads in the next six to eight months. That is something we will be seeing. But what do you think of the Roadster X? Do you think this could be a real alternative or perhaps something that pushes people to leave their petrol powered commuters and opt for an electric motorcycle instead? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it informative, then please make sure to like it and share it with your friends and family.